Now armed with more knowledge, I want to claim this. Limbus Company is very free-to-play friendly. This time, thanks to comments, I can get a bit more in-depth on why I think LC is one of the most free-to-play friendly gotchas ever. At least a little more in-depth and a little more correct than my previous video. First, I'd like to talk about the base centers. When you start playing Limbus, you will have your 12 centers in their LCB identity. That's Limbus Company Bus, by the way. And when you roll gacha, you essentially get alternate identities of your sinners from other mirror worlds that you can use. These base sinners are pretty good and can handle the main story and side events pretty well. In fact, someone has done Refraction Railway with only base identities. That is a seasonal high difficulty mode. Think Arknight's Contingency Contract. They both even alliterate. This means you will always have a solid core of units no matter your gacha lock. And speaking of gacha, Project Moon is very generous with stuff like maintenance compensation or login events, both for gacha currency and roll tickets. There is also the Ego Shard system which lets you trade them in for any senior identity or EGO skill that you didn't get by rolling. These are either acquired from rolling dupes or with boxes that can be grinded for. These come in two flavors, one that give you a random amount of a specific character's shard or those that give you a random amount of a random shard. And yes, you can grind for these in various ways with stuff like Refraction Railway or the Battle Pass giving them out. Speaking of which, there are EGO skills and cosmetics that are locked behind the Premium Battle Pass. This is of course where I was wrong in my last video. While the cosmetics, i.e. the banner or the announcer, may not be available for free to place to my knowledge, any EGO that is currently exclusive to the Premium track can be purchased at a later date. An example Project Moon showed is that EGOs from the Season 1 Pass, which is ending very soon, will be available for purchase starting on Season 2. So yes, there are going to be times that they are not available for you as a free-to-play, but they will be eventually, and once you get them, they'll be in your collection forever. So to summarize, your default characters are good, you get quite a lot of rolls, you can grind for characters you miss, and the rates seem pretty good too, in my personal experience at least. With all those factors combined, I have to say, Limbus Company is very, very free-to-play friendly. Some have pointed out, it may even be too free to play friendly. So you don't have to spend a dime to have fun in Limbus Company and I highly recommend it.